be golden. So we Terror Dragon Scale Shot here. We've got the loaded dice. So we'll probably hit four times at least. Well, we have to hit four times at least. Let's see how this plays out for us. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we'll be trying to pull off Scale Shot Crocodile. Can we do it? Here's the team we're using. Feel free to give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel for more competitive Pokemon content. And with that being said, let's jump straight to the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Anthony. So today we're in a battle versus Anthony in the underused tier. Smogon underused, of course. He leads with uh, Cleavor as we lead off with our Galvantula. So looking at the team preview real quick, some big threats on the team. The Barrescue to Pelipper combination is a big threat. Frigoraph is an interesting one and Cleavor's probably going to go for a Stonax Stealth Rocks. You can pause the video and have a look at team preview if you really want to, but I'm going to carry on with the game. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead. If they lead off with the cleaver, we should Volt Switch because they're probably going to Stone Axe us and we should get some damage off on it. Get the Sticky Web up later once we've cleared out that Braviary because it's clearly a Defogger. So let's go for a Volt Switch first. Um, they outspeed us, so we know it's a Choice Scarf variant, which is good to know. Gets the Stealth Rocks up after breaking our Focus Sash, so that's interesting. Um, there we go. So we'll probably go into Chestnut now. Chestnut does completely wall the cleaver. However, it does invite in the uh, Pelipper, so we've got to be careful of that. Um, Pelipper is a... Ooh, uh, I don't really want Pelipper to come in at all, but... Looks like we're going to have to, because the only thing I can really switch in here... I guess I could go Crocodile and knock off. That, that's an option. Um, it would hurt the Pelipper. And I guess I could also go Chestnut and knock off. And that would probably force a switch from the Cleavor as well. Um... But that does make the Pelipper want to come in even more. So I think I will go Crocodile now. I think Crocodile is the best Pokemon to go into. So we're going to band it real quick. There we go. Point Stones are going to dig in, which is always nice. Uh, let's go straight for a knockoff because they probably go Pelipper here. If we can knock off that Damp Rock, that's going to be great. So they're going to withdraw Kevin the Cleavor. And uh, they're going to go into what exactly? They're going to go into Pico, which is going to be the Pelipper. It's got to be the Pelipper because that name is definitely a Pelipper name. It's definitely a Pelipper name. So... Uh, we go for a knockoff. Knockoff's going to do some nice damage to the Pelipper, which is great, knocking off that damp rock. And uh, now we definitely switch out. Um, I'd say Tentacruel's probably our best bet, or the Kamala. Then we can rapid spin away those stealth rocks. And um, they don't have a ghost type on the team, so we could probably do that. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to. Kamala is specially defensive, so I know I can take a surf from this thing uh, at least once. Um, so let's see how it plays out. So Sleepy's going to come in, the Kamala. Nice and shiny, got to love it. Um, get some stone damage, which is unfortunate, and then they get the comatose as well, which means they can't be stats afflicted. They do go for a chilling water, which is going to do minimal damage. If that was a surf, that would have 2 it KO'd us, actually. Looking at the damage of that, I I'm a specially defensive Kamala. Kamala's not that good, but it's, it's cute, and I like, I like using it, so I'm going to use it regardless. So I'm going to go for a rapid spin now to get rid of these stealth rocks. They do go for a U-turn, which is going to bounce right off our Kamala. Uh, and I'm going to go in, and they're probably going to go into the Barrascuta if I had to guess. Or the Cleavor again. Cleavor would be a good one. Kevin's coming in, that's the Cleavor. So Cleavor is the best switch they could go into there. That's fine, we go for a Rapid Spin. Get some damage off on them, like so. Uh, raise our speed, get rid of the stones, all that wonderful stuff. And now we basically have to go into Chestnut um, this time. Because Chestnut will give him some Rocky Helmet chip for a start. And Pelipper's running out of ways to switch in. So I'm going to go into the Chestnut now. Chestnut is definitely the best Pokemon to go into. Even if they decide to go for a dual wing beat, it'll bounce right off Chestnut. Um, so Juggernaut's coming in, like so. we got that Rocky Helmet, all that stuff. And they go for a U-turn, though. Instead of a, uh, instead of a Stone Axe, they go for a U-turn, which is great. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. They're going to U-turn out into what, though? Probably the Pelipper, I would guess, to go for a Hurricane. If I really had to guess, that's what I'd say. Boom, boom, the sociable comes in, which is going to be the electrode. Interesting choice. So knowing they might Terra Ice here, I'm going to spiky shield just to scout. They do terrestrialize. What are they going to go into? Is it ice or flying or fire? Probably ice. It won't be fire in the rain, surely. Yeah, ice. Ice coming out. So you normally see Terra Ice on electrodes. Um, it's good to see that they used it now, though. Now that we can um, catch them off guard. So we go for a spiky shield. Just to scout to see what they're going to do. They do go for the Terra Astralization. So they're probably going for a Terra Blast. Charge Beam. Interesting. 
So that's an um, interesting choice. We could go for a Trashization of our own into a Steel type right now and go for a Body Press, clear away this, elect uh, this Electrode right now. That would also give us a way of standing up to the Pelipper. A little bit. I say we do it. I don't really foresee needing Terra for anything else. I mean, if the rain goes... Mm, Crookedile's Terra Dragon could be really useful later on down the line. So I might just withheld from that. I think what I'll do here is, because they're probably going to expect to switch out, I'm going to go for the Body Press. They go for a Terra Blaster. That, that's, that's a bad play on my behalf. I shouldn't have done that. We might live because they're not choice. Um, and Electrode's stats aren't the best. We do live on free HP. And we cleanly take out... That Electrode, that is brilliant. <laughs> Chestnut coming through for us right there with the live. That was great. I love it. Love to see it. So Electrode is down. That's good to note. And there's no Aftermath as well, which is great. So in comes Kevin the Cleavor once again. Um, Kevin the Cleavor is probably going to go for a Stone Axe, I would say. So I'm going to go for a Spiky Shield first, just to ensure that when it does go for a Stone Axe, it KOs itself. Um, which would be great. So I think I think I've quit from right. If you die on the turn you go for Stone Axe, then you don't get the Stealth Rocks up. I'm pretty sure. So they can't go for a U-turn here. They have to go for something else. If they go for a U-turn, they'll die. Um, I'm going to go for a Spikes because I know that for a fact. They're going to go for a U-turn. Take us out. Take us out. But the Rocky Helmet is going to take them out as well, which is great. So Chestnut did its job. Um, to be honest with you, the rest of the team... Chestnut ain't dealing with. I mean, Braviary, Pelipper, Frigograph. Uh, not really dealing with it. At least we get rid of the Stealth Rocks as well. That's, that's always a plus. So the rain has stopped. So what are they going to go into? I'd say we go Galvantula. They go into Pico. So we, they can't Terra. So we can freely go for a Volt Switch here, which is going to hit three out of the four remaining Pokemon they have. They get the Drizzle up once again. We go straight for a Volt Switch. There's no reason not to go for a Volt Switch here. Because we can take out the Pelipper like that. There we go. Oh, we're cooking with gas right now. We are cooking with gas right now. So they have Farigarath, they have um, Braviary, and they have the Barrascuda left. So we are in a very good position. We've got five or I mean, well, four if you count Galvantula as being pretty much dead. Um, so I'm wondering what to go into. I'm, I'm thinking Reggie Drago, you know? So let's go into Dragoris, the Reggie Drago. It's amazing cry. And then they're probably going to go into Barracuda. Saracuda. <laughs> That's a cool nickname. Uh, Barracuda comes in. So we are Choice Scarf. We can definitely take a hit, but I don't want to take a hit. They won't go for a water move, which means it's not going to be boosted by rain. They have to go for an ice fang, but if they're banded, it's going to KO us. So I think what I do here is I sack off Galvantula, because Galvantula ain't outspeeding anything in this uh, in the rain with Barracuda, so we may as well just sack off Galvantula, get a free switch here with something else, like the uh, Crocodile, for example. They do go for a Liquidation. They still went for a Liquidation against the Richie Drago. Interesting. So that's going to take out the Galvantula. Um, we can bring in Tear Crocodile. Crocodile can definitely take this thing out. I'm thinking. I'm leaning towards. I'm also leaning towards the Tentacruel. I'm leaning towards the Crocodile right now. And I'm, the reason I'm leaning towards Crocodile is purely and simply because... Um, I can Terra Dragon, go for a Scale Shot, and be golden. So we Terra Dragon Scale Shot here. We've got the loaded dice, so we'll probably hit four times at least. Well, we have to hit four times at least. Let's see how this plays out for us. Let us see how this plays out for us, Mr. Bond. They go for the Liquidation. It's going to sting, but it doesn't do nearly enough damage to KO us. As we now go for a Scale Shot, we don't miss, which is great. I, I kind of thought it would miss just to be, you know, unclutch. And it looks like four hits is going to do it. Looks like four hits is going to do it. Watch it, hit, watch it live. No, it's not going to live. I thought it'd live on like one HP and then we'd only hit four times as well. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be just great. So Terra Dragon Crocodile coming through right now. Definitely coming through for us right now because now we outspeed... And we get the Moxie. Now we outspeed the Farigraph. We can knock that thing out with knockoff. And we have to be the Braviary. So Tomahawk's coming in the Braviary. So that thing is bulky. We have got an attack boost. Should I go for a scale shot again? I think I go for a scale shot again. We don't miss, which is great. Scale shot comes through for us. Oh, is it gonna hurt? Is it gonna is it gonna KO? 
we hit all five times, it will. If we hit four times, we're screwed. We hit all five times. We hit all five times that time. Which means not only do we get a Moxie boost, we also get an attack, a, a defense and spe speed um, boost as well. And that's great. <laughs> Crookenow popping off right now. Crookenow's, yeah, there's the Moxie as well. Like, this is the most dangerous Crookenow set that I've ever used. It's so powerful. It's so potent. So potent. So, Freegraph comes in. We just basically go for a knockoff. Unless they're Focus Sash, which they aren't. That's going to be the game. So, GG Anthony, that was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for watching today's video.